All right, what is up you guys? We're back with another video on the Shasta. We're gonna work on that roof today and get some of that taken care of. We got one of these vent covers. It calls for two, but I only got one. So we'll see how that works. We'll get the other one taken care of in a later video. Maybe, maybe not. I might just cover it up considering I might not even need that other hole, but we'll see where that gets us. So just real quick before we actually get started, here is the actual top of the roof. You can see the paint's like completely gone. It's getting a little rusted. I'm not really too worried about these rust spots. They're not bad, bad, but it looks kind of nasty. So we got this Tremco Solar Guard. It's just a roof coating. Hopefully it keeps some of the rain and stuff from getting on to the actual rv i'm not going to scrape all this excess stuff off only because this is temporary until i can actually afford flex seal once i can afford flex seal then we'll see about getting a little bit deeper into this maybe sanding it down a little bit and putting that flex seal on but if you look right over here ooh, this is a little bit wobbly this is what we did to keep some of the water out for now we got the two cans up here. They might just peel off pretty easy. Yeah. See how easy that thing peeled off. So we're going to put that other one right on top of here. Get that covered up. Might scrape this off a little just to keep it clean. Maybe it'll actually perform an actual seal and we can keep some water in. Keep some water from getting in. Here's our AC unit. Doesn't look too pretty, but I, I'm not worried about that. But yeah. Let's get into this. All right, guys, one more thing before we actually get started on the camper. Um, I'm going to be changing the name of the YouTube channel to Montoya's Adventure because I want to broaden it out a little bit. I just bought two acres. I cleared it out, put an electrical pole. I want you guys to be a part of that and see my progress over there. So instead of just limiting it to just RVs, I do have the two. I want to switch it up, get some of my land stuff going in there, buying a house, seeing all that process of what's going on with that and how that goes. If you guys are actually interested in that, let me know down in the comments, like the video. Just tell me somehow that you guys would be interested in that. But for sure, I am changing the name of the YouTube channel over to Montoya's Adventure in about a month. Don't know for sure, but that's about the timeline I'm looking at. My Facebook group's already Montoya's Adventure. Everything's been under Montoya's Adventure except the YouTube channel. So we're gonna get that switched over to Montoya's Adventure, mainly because it's not just me, it's the whole family and this is a family thing. So if you guys wanna see more videos about what's going on with us and the land, the RVs, just us going camping and stuff, let us know down in the comments. But we'll get started on the roof. All right, so first things first, I'm just gonna kinda scrape some of this off maybe get a couple of these screws out of here maybe screws don't really want to cooperate maybe if i actually unscrewed them So it looks like there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws that held that old one in. If there was even an old one up here. All right, so as you can see, that's pretty much cleared up now. You can might be able to get a good seal around that so now we just need to make sure that this is going to cover that okay so it covers it pretty well i just need to put a little pressure when i'm actually screwing it down that way it'll actually all right so i went ahead and put this sealant that came with the device on it we'll go ahead and stick it over it push down I got that pushed down we'll get the bag of screws all right so we'll just open the bag of screws right here hopefully these are quarter inch screws 
because that's the only bit I brought up here was a quarter inch. And fits like a glove. So we'll screw this down right here. I'm gonna do a star pattern just to make sure it gets a good seal all the way around. Looks like it's good on there nice and tight. That looks a lot better than these old cans. But don't even know where that came from. What I'm gonna go ahead and do now is get the paint can and all that ready to go. And then we will start painting the roof. Now, I'm not too worried about all this stuff. Like I said, it's just temporary until I can actually afford a $100 bottle of Flex Seal. Guys. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get my gloves back on. Please don't judge my methods. This is all I have and this is what I'm working with. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this can up right here. Maybe one of these days I'll get it open. All right, we got it open. It's just some pure white paint. I'll go ahead and mix this up. Give it a good mixing. Maybe, I don't even think this thing needed a mix. Right, now that we got it all mixed up good and nice we're just gonna go ahead and pour some into this look at that flow well, I guess it doesn't matter if it drips but we got that all set up so I'll put the lid back on there and we will get started back in that area work our way around the AC unit come back this way and do right here for last because that's where my ladder is and that's where I'll be climbing down. There's some of the stuff for the RV and yeah. So let's get this in a time lapse for you guys right now. So we're about halfway done with the entire roof. Over here is looking so much better than before. I kind of painted that, but I kind of gave up halfway through it. I might get back to it. But now we just got this little walkway right here. I say walkway, but it's a part of the roof, so we're not really gonna be walking on it a whole lot. We got this section right here, and then this whole section right here, and then we'll pretty much be done. But, now that I got this painted and see how clean and better it looks, it makes me want to paint the rest of the RV. Let me know what colors down in the comments I should paint the exterior of this camper. All right, that's enough talking. Let's get back to this side. guys that's about all we're doing for today i got 
the entire roof with one coat well that's all i'm going to show you guys on video but i'm going to let this dry for a couple hours i'll come back out here put maybe a second maybe a third coat on it get it all dried up get it looking good again but like i said exteriors needing some major major tlc this just looks horrible now compared to that top we still need a new roof we're using it as storage got to figure out what we're doing there lights just so much has to be done to this we will be moving it here in a couple weeks maybe a month i'll show you guys all the hookup and everything to that what i'm gonna do about lighting since i have no lights on it um right over here i hooked up a windmill to it just to see what we could do that's supposed to be up there but i did hook up a windmill to it i should have recorded it and showed you guys but didn't quite get to that there's the windmill hasn't really been doing a whole lot so that's just kind of there man i really want to get going full speed on this but i just don't have the money or the time right now so we'll get it though but that is all for this video make sure you hit that thumbs up comment down below what you like what you think i should do with this thing what color it should be that's the main thing what color should the shasta be also we need a nickname for this thing because we can't keep calling it the Shasta. We also need a nickname for the wilderness. Comment down below and let me know if you guys can think of any names for these two. We'll get something figured out. But as always, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a video. Let me know if you guys like the new name or not. Until next time, see you guys later.